The WYSIBUG is a battery-powered vehicle suitable for children from 18 months to 5 years, or up to about 20 kilograms in weight. It combines mobility with fun, allowing young children to experience movement and enjoy some early years independence. These instructions will show you how to set up and use your WYSIBUG. The WYSIBUG can be used indoors and outdoors in accessible areas like patios, playgrounds and parks and is happy to be driven on firm level grass and on gentle slopes up to gradients of 1 in 12. Use on wide pavements only and ensure WYSIBUG is well away from the curb edge with a supervising adult between the vehicle and the road. Take extra care when crossing the road and always use dropped curbs. The WYSIBUG can be dismantled for transportation. Now let's put WYSIBUG together. First, attach the rear wheel assembly to the body. Use the handle to lift up the assembly and locate the prongs into the two holes in the rear assembly bar. Then locate and twist the spring clip to secure the unit in place. This chain is to minimise static electricity and should always be attached and hanging down. The battery fits into the red box and it is connected to the socket as is shown here. Once the seat is open, check the harness straps are tucked in. This is to prevent them from getting caught in the seat as it is fitted. Turn the white dial on the backrest fully anti-clockwise. Locate the front of the seat into the brackets as illustrated. Press and hold down the black circular switch and then lower the seat into the body. Release the switch to engage the seat into the grid. Then by rotating the dial fully clockwise, the seat will be locked into position. Do not force the dial. If there is resistance, just readjust the seat position and try again. Do not use the seat unless the white dial is securely in the locked position. Note that the red line will point down when the seat is locked. To fit the footrest, first squeeze the handles underneath it. Hook the unit onto the grid and slide into position. Release the handles and then check the footrest is secure. To remove again, squeeze the handles and slide the unit out. Ankle straps can be fitted to the footrest if they are required. The armrests are fitted to the backrest. First check that the protruding pins are visible through the circular plate. If the thoracic support is required, first slide this into the slot between the rectangular and circular plate. The armrest can then be slotted in behind it. Tighten to make sure the whole assembly is secure. Repeat this procedure for fitting the other armrest. To fit the joystick, remove the screw at the front of the armrest assembly. Slide on the joystick unit and replace the screw and tighten. Take the cable to the back of the seat. Store the cable safely and plug in. The carer control can be hooked onto the back of the headrest. This plugs in to the adjacent socket. Switch WYSIBUG on using the main on-off switch. You can also switch the lights on and off if needed. Here are a few things to remember when setting up your WYSIBUG. 
never attempt to adjust the seating system with the child sitting in the seat as there is a risk of entrapment. Always make sure the seat is securely engaged in the seating grid. The seating system is solely for use when fitted into the WYSIBUG. And consult a physiotherapist or an occupational therapist if you wish to get advice about the optimum seating position for your child. There is a grid with a series of holes in it that allows you to adjust both the position of the seat and the backrest and also the angle of the backrest. To adjust the backrest position, first lift the seat base up and pivot the backrest forwards. Unlock the backrest and press and hold down the switch. This releases the locking pins, allowing you to move the backrest up and over to the desired slot on the grid. Release the switch and ensure the pins have engaged in the grid. And then finally relock the backrest. The seat can be adjusted to a wide range of positions. And for more information about these adjustments, please refer to the instruction booklet. Take time to set up the seat so that your child feels safe and comfortable. This is key to helping them enjoy the experience of being mobile. Always use the lap strap provided and the additional full harness and take time to adjust them to fit snugly. Removing the cushion provides further adjustment to the length of the harness straps. There is an anti-thrust feature which fits onto the seat base to provide additional shaping. It is attached with Velcro and is easily adjusted to fit the smaller or larger child. The footrest can be level or tilted to match the angle of the seat. Choosing the same colour positions at the front and rear will leave the footrest level, whilst using different colour positions will change the tilt angle. To readjust, squeeze the handles under the footrest. Reposition, then release to secure. Always check the footrest is secure before use. Release the screw on the backrest to allow you to slide the armrests and the lateral supports up and down or in and out as required. Then tighten to secure. If the joystick position needs adjusting, use an Allen key to release the joystick controller. By unscrewing the armrest, you can change the position of the joystick. Make sure that all the adjustment screws are fully tightened each time you adjust before using the WYSIBUG. Turn the joystick on by pressing the central white on off button. The blue button is used to set the speed from 1 to 3. Settings 4 and 5 are only for use with alternative control options. Press the trumpet to hear the horn. The level of charge left in the battery is shown by the lights on the joystick panel. When only red lights are visible, this indicates power is low and you should recharge the battery. The joystick control is proportional. This means that the further you push the joystick, the faster the WYSIBUG will go in that direction. The carer control has its own speed setting and it should be switched to either child use or carer use. When the carer control is in use, an A is shown on the joystick control panel. Release the screw on the back of the headrest to allow you to slide it to the required height. Then retighten and check the new position is secure. 
The wheels use low-maintenance, puncture-proof rubber tyres and require no inflation. If you wish to manually push the WYSIBUG, the drive can be disengaged by sliding the small lever in the centre of the wheel. It is important to note that whilst in the freewheel setting, there is no longer any braking action. When you wish to return to the drive mode, slide the small lever in the opposite direction. It is important to only use the charger supplied with the WYSIBUG. Plug the charger into the socket on the rear panel and the red light will come on. When the battery is fully charged, the red light will go out. Ensure the armrests are level and then slide on the tray and hook it into position. The trailer fits onto the rear wheel assembly using the hand wheel to secure. The trailer is ideal for carrying toys and very light loads. Switches are available that can be used as an alternative to the joystick. Finally, please be sure you also read the written instruction booklet provided. And we really hope that you and your child will have great fun using the WYSIBUG.